Hello everyone and welcome back to Birthdays The Beginnings, where hopefully we are going to have many new birthdays today as we continue to watch this amazing little cutie world grow. I still haven't quite figured out what I want to call it yet. I kind of love like the terrarium, the squarearium. Like what do you call a square that's a terrarium? I'm not sure. Keep leaving those name suggestions for me because I've really got to think about this. This place has really started to mean a lot to me. It's growing, it's flourishing. I really feel like it's becoming quite special. I mean, just look at the vines. Oh, I'm so proud about the little mountains we've made and everything. There's so much more life that we could possibly bring to this world too, because as you guys know, we figured out the tree of life last time. Well, actually it was a couple times ago, but we finally figured out how we can pop in and we can actually look at the whole tree of life of different things that we could potentially evolve or mutate and finally see start showing up. Oh, look at all of this. Look at all of this. There's so much. And finally see it start showing up and becoming a part of the world here. And right now we are actually working on trying to get one of the very first land creatures that could come and wander on our land. And this guy's going to show up as the coelacanths begin to flourish. It's going to be an amphibian that was the first to set foot on land. It is not quite adapted fully to land, so it can only emerge near the shore. So this guy needs to be in a temperature of 27 to 33 degrees Celsius. So we still need it to be maybe a little bit cooler than it has been. I think we're actually right at the upper end of that right now. And then it just needs to have somewhere where there's like 50 to 88% moisture. So let's actually check the ground really quickly. All right, all right, yeah, 50 to 88 moisture. We've got some good lowlands. So all of these lovely little grassy patches could potentially be its home. And it is going to be from 38 to 34 degrees Celsius soon. Huh. So we want the shore temperature to be around 30 degrees Celsius. So I think we need it to be a little bit cooler for our little friend. So let's actually come and try to make a few more mountains really quickly. I don't know if we need mountains, but we definitely need at least a few more hills. So let's get some of those. All right. Here we go. Hang in there, little mushroom tree. You're going for a ride. All right, and then let's shrink this down just a bit. Whoops, not that, sh not that small, not that small. I take it back. All right, there's some lowland, I think. It hasn't said that it would make it cooler yet, so I think I need to make it a little higher. All right, and then we'll try, maybe we'll do this. Mountain here? Okay, what about, can I do, Okay, now that would actually make it a little cooler. All right, can I get in? Can I go any further? No. Oh, wow, look, there's actually like, oh, are some of the special items actually hiding way down inside? Oh, look, there's an item over here. Inside of our cube? Huh. Maybe we'll just call this the bio cube for now. The, I don't know. I wanna come up with a really cool name for it. I'm struggling there. I'm sure it'll hit me one day. All right, can we make it any cooler at all? Haven't been told that it would be cooler yet. Okay, maybe we'll get rid of just a teensy bit of the sea. Oh, that definitely did it. Okay, so maybe these shallows are gonna go to try to help out with the whole cooling the plant, or well, I guess it's a little planet. All right, maybe that's good enough. I don't wanna go too far in the extremes and then suddenly <laughs> We're in trouble and everything goes extinct because actually life is sort of struggling at the moment friends. I'm not gonna lie According to our little map and our overview of our cube from our little I assume we're in like some sort of spaceship <gasps> Maybe we're in a cool little moon. Wouldn't that be neat if like the moon was really a space Station where we're watching the flourishing of this cube world <laughs> Really should be a spear, but think about how hard it would be to manage a spear. I have enough trouble with that in Spore. All right, let's come over here. There we go. And maybe one more. There, all right, let's pop up. And now, well, that'll do. We'll kind of make those more interesting mountains soon. As you guys can see in the life news, a lot of the different creatures are actually struggling. I'm nervous to make time pass, but we're gonna do it. <gasps> Our coelacanths went extinct! Will they come back? 
Oh my gosh, there's something new. Quick. We had a birthday! But this is really bad if the coelacanth went extinct. We need our coelacanths. Did I make it to... Okay, we've got the seed of evolution. We've got a couple new things. We need to go and look at them. But why, coelacanths? Did you need more deep ocean? I bet they needed more deep ocean. Quick, friends! Down we go! Okay, we need to make some nice deep sea for them. They really wanted, like, deep, deep sea, if I remember correctly. Alright, let's get this down. Maybe I didn't have a deep enough deep sea for them. Because the only coelacanth we had, we didn't even properly see. Because it was down in a chasm. So maybe this will this will help. All right. All right, that's deeper. Cuz yeah, the, like it's we're making the abyss basically. Cuz the only coelacanth we had was really it was actually way down here. So I might even need to make it deeper than that for our coelacanth friend to come back. But let's go see who was just born. We do have a couple birthdays. Oh, we have birthdays up here. Oh, this is so pretty. What are you? Is this like a mutated variety of one of the plants we have? It is! It adapted to the warm wetlands! Oh, you're so cool! Okay, I'll accept that guy. And then I think there's... Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, so there's two of them! Oh, how fun! Okay, well, let's pop back up. Wow! Yeah, there's plenty of room to have like a deep, deep sea. So maybe we'll make a deeper sea soon. Let's see if we can get the coelacanths to come back. Okay, the autumn ferns are doing okay. Oh, new, new, new birthday! Okay, now I'm not wasting like any time to come in. We've got to capture what we can about the new birthdays while we can. All right, where is it? It's these highlands again. So even though we're in a little bit of trouble for not having, oh, here we go. <gasps> is that our first flower? Oh my gosh, we have to mutate this. Check it out! Grass that grows alongside the autumn fern in various warm climates. Okay, that makes me very happy. We've got tons of grasses. There's plenty and plenty and plenty of, like, flourishing flora. But we don't have enough animals. So maybe I really need to work on making better, making better oceans? Let's, we'll check on what the coelacanth really want again. Because is this what the coelacanth really want? Did we make it too cool? Did the ce Are the coelacanth going to be a little upset because it's so cold? Whoops. Coelacanth, where did you go, my friend? Okay, coelacanth. No, they want 25 degrees Celsius to 31 degrees Celsius. And they can actually adapt through a whole range of temperatures. They just want the deep sea. Mm-hmm. And then the thing that we're trying to unlock is really not going to show up until we have more coelacanth, apparently. So, I, I don't know. It doesn't say, like, the coelacanth number. It just says, as coelacanth flourish. So, while we're waiting on that, maybe let's try to go ahead and get the trilobite to evolve again. So, let's see if we can find where the trilobite has gone. Because we do have some seeds of evolution, and I am so going to start using those more so that we can figure out what we've got around here. All right, where is our little friend? In fact, maybe I'll just grab some of these guys. Oh, let's try this little guy. You know, the little guy with the smile. All right, let's see. Let's do maybe a seed of mutation on him. What do you say, little friend? You want to have a seed of mutation? There we go. And then maybe we'll try the seed of evolution. Um, I really want to try it on one of the little trilobites because I do love those trilobites trial by trilobite I did so many puns last time about the trilobites I remember that now where are you little friend come out come out from the deep primordial seas please I mean there's a lot of the other populations holy canoodles look at all these guys you know what let's try to evolve one of those little little suckers come here hold still like, seriously, hold stop for just a second. Oh, I got him. Okay. So now we have used... Uh, let's see. And how's the temperature? All right. So these spots are like 34 degrees Celsius. Temperature is going down. And we need the shore temperature to be at 30 degrees Celsius. 
All right, let's do more deep ocean. How about we'll, we'll knock this mountain down? Are you guys ready to have... In fact, we'll, we'll be a little dramatic here. Um, a volcano erupts! Da da da! And it blasts away this mountain! There we go! You know, you gotta add a little bit of drama to your island now. Or your cube? <laughs> your bio cube land? You've gotta, you've gotta kind of play it up now and then. Be like, you'll never guess what happens. Here in this world. The tectonic plates are constantly moving. New things are constantly happening. Oh, we've got we got somebody. Eh! Ah, quick! Okay, sorry. I have to keep moving because once we have a birthday, we gotta enjoy the birthday. Ooh, a seed of evolution is somewhere here in the cube. I'm gonna have to find it because I, I want to evolve more things. <gasps> is this our new friend? Did we get him? Oh, this is like a prehistoric Pokemon snap now that I think about it. Here we go! It is one of the astro that migrated to shallow waters in search of prey. It sucks in the Cyclomedusa through its jawless mouth. Yay! Alright, so let's actually check out what we have got for our library now. I'm feeling pretty fancy. We'll look at the tree. And I'm pretty sure I know which which guy this- Yes! We got number 13! I'm so proud of us guys! Oh, look at him! Little Sokka Bam Bathis. What a name. <laughs> so he is now here with us. Um, you know what? Let's try evolving the Cyclo Medusa. Because I feel like there should be more, more types. If there's going to be more predators, let's try to evolve the Cyclo Medusa. And there's a seed of evolution somewhere about... Aha! Is that our seed of... Yes, we got the seed of evolution. Nice. Two seeds of evolution. I will accept both of those with glee and joy. And we'll toss one onto the Cyclomedusa in just a second. Where is the... I think there's one of the shiny little little things that we could use up in the sky here. Alright, seed of evolution. Let's make sure we're using it on the right guy, the Cyclomedusa. Thank you for holding still, Cyclomedusa. And the water is actually... The world is warming. That is the opposite of what we're going for here. Pardon? No, bad. We'll blow more stuff up. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> of course. Oh no, I did the opposite, you guys. Why did I mess that up again? I bet you're all yelling at me in the comments right now, and I deserve every minute of it. All right, look, 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 look. Volcano go boom. The volcano has erupted again, and this time it raises the land. Oh my word, I can't believe I got it backwards again. It just takes me a minute to remember, no, you need the land to go up to cool it and down to warm it. And then I just went and made like something really the wrong direction. Here, no, no, down. Oh my gosh. No, give me, give me one of my recovery leaves. I can't leaf things in these conditions. It's too embarrassing. All right. I am going to fix this. All right. All right. There's that. And then we'll we'll fix these these pinnacles of the man. This looks like a fork at this point. <laughs> it's Fork Mountain, and I guess the other one will be Spork Mountain for now or something. Oh jeez, oh so embarrassed. All right, all right. Let's go ahead. We'll pull this up too. No, up, up, up. I said. There we go. And we can get a few more little mountains to cool things off. And then you know what? We'll even shrink some of the shallows. Not too much. Not too much. Just enough. I think... Oh, hey. Yay! Field source. Yay! Normal recovery leaf. Oh, there's even a couple, something down here too. Yay! A seed of mutation. All right. Let's pull all these up. I think we have some happy little fish that are about to go for a ride. Sorry, guys. And I'll raise up this spot. There! Okay, now we're starting to get down into the 30s. Phew! Okay. And I might even put, like, a river source back here in a little bit. But let's try this. Alright. What do we have if we put that out? Will we get our... Oh, man. Things are going extinct now. Life is moving along. I can't really tell... If we still have some of the things that were just birthed? Apparently we've got a lot of the things that were just birthed. What? 
Okay, is it a plant? Oh, it's a really leafy green plant. I'll take it. Nice! Beautiful, a fern that grows on cool savanna plains. It appears where another creature proliferates. Excellent. And then we have a couple more things. And then we have some things that are trying to go extinct on us. What are you? Oof. All right, we lost some things, we gained some things. But as long as we capture them, we can at least get the information about like what they are. It's the Codium Fragile, which I'm gonna call Fragile because this thing like disappeared so easily. So this is the seaweed that adapts to life in warm seawater. Oh yay, we just leveled up. Oh, I'm so proud. And this, and wow, that actually gives us a huge field to work with now. But the seaweed that um, adapts to life actually replaces one of the other seaweeds. So I think that's what's actually going on here. And the land is now 30, 30 degrees Celsius. So we did good there. It's starting to cool a little bit too much in some places. <laughs> so maybe that'll encourage me to make the ocean a little deeper and wider again. Oh, ooh, ooh, we got something new over here too. What do we have? <gasps> yes! Anthracomedusa, a jellyfish that lives in warm seas near the Codium Fragile. They appear to have taken the place of Cyclomedusa. <gasps> little did we know that we were going to erase Cyclomedusa's actual little niche, environmental niche. Oh boy, I didn't really mean to do that, but that's okay. All right, guys, so this is what happens when you start getting these trees of life is you're going to see some of the different things like our little blue cyclomedusa has now given way to these guys instead. And I think their rarities start going up. I think we temporarily had this coral, which is really exciting. It emerges when moss is abundant and we temporarily had this large sea predator native to very hot waters. I don't think our water is hot enough to be able to support its life right now. Should we have gone ahead and tried to warm up the water? Yeah, this is not warm enough for it. It needs like, wow, how, how hot did that thing need? Let's see. Um, here we go. Yeah, it needed like freaking 60, 46 to 56 in Celsius heat here. We're in the 20s. That thing didn't have a chance. All right, let's see what happens if we give this little spot of life a little bit more time. Woohoo! Kalunia has now officially gone extinct. Pykea has officially done, gone extinct. We have a conifer again. The Pykea has gone extinct. All of our first little guys. Oh, I don't know if I like what I've done here. But we have something that has now... This is... I mean, this is the cycle of life. We were warned. <gasps> and we got flowers out of the deal. Okay, actually, maybe it's worth it for the flowers. But a plant that thrives in warm, dry climates. It's differentiated from some of the other plants with how it proliferates. Okay. But I don't think this is really helping us with the goal of getting back to unfortunately are we are we gonna get anywhere closer no my conifers died again and cyclomedusa is on the verge of extinction we expected that nobody panic we just really 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 need that coelacanth to come back please okay we got a new we got a newbie who'd we get birthday time birthday time I'm going to have to wreck my world of plants in order to be able to get things moving along, aren't I? Oh, it's going to be hard, friends. I, I But I got to prepare. Where on earth is this newbie? Aha! Oh, it's on the ground! What did we get now? Oh, it's a mutated variety of those little, like, ferns that has adapted to live in a warm area. Well, I'm happy to have it along for the ride. I'm really not happy to have, let's see. Sunlight, mysterious cloud that slightly lowers soil moisture in an area. No, that's not really gonna help me. What I really need is to be able to like have my, <laughs> have my little coelacanth back, please. All right, are we gonna get any, any luck here? Cyclomedusa has now gone extinct. And I think this is the last birthday of the day. The good news is that it seems to be 
we're we're getting things on land at least i mean the world is full of all of these plants we just need to go ahead and <gasps> Full of all of these plants! Full of all of these plants! I love this plant! This is so cool! What? Look at this! Oh my gosh! A tree that has adapted to warm plains. It seems to be differentiated from the blue grandma. Wow! It's not very rare though. <laughs> Alright. Let's check out the tree of life. We're filling out the tree of life over here now. We're starting to differentiate from quite a few of the different trees that can start showing up. The vines are starting to show up. The ferns are starting to show up. Varieties of vines are starting to show up, which is really exciting. Um, but I, I may have been playing with so many of the plants. Th that's not a surprise, it being me. That uh, I, I think I have, I have put the priority of the flora over the fauna. And it's going to be a little tricky to be able to convince some of our precious, precious creatures to come back to us. So we're going to have to see if we can get Cyclomedusa to return or not. Oh, wait, there's the coelacanth! When did you sneak in here? He ate a fish! Did you see that? <laughs> we do have coelacanths! Okay, maybe we'll give the coelacanth a deeper sea next time. And then we'll have to see if we can get some amphibians up on the water. Or up on the out of the water onto the shore. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure today. We are continuing to evolve this place at a record pace. And I freaking love it. Just look at all of the greenery we've got. Maybe too much greenery. Look, there's the, the mountain of forks. <laughs> Ah, if you guys could do please leave a like for this and all or for this adventure and if you would like to join us on this and all of our adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye